It is uh, late Friday night or just past midnight here. Um, or actually, no, it's Saturday. Oh gosh, okay. Just past midnight and I went to the Twitch party after getting done with my stream on Saturday. Um, I came back to the hotel and immediately fell asleep and then woke up and made the decision of, you know, like, should I just stay here or should I like make the effort to go out and go to the party? And because like I hadn't seen Tyler at all um, and I thought maybe Zeke was going to be there, I didn't see Zeke either. Or I saw Tyler but I didn't see Zeke. Um, I'm really tired so <laughs> thought processing isn't working. Um, but I went to the Twitch party anyway. It was, ah, uh, God, it was just like not anything that I wanted to be involved in. Because it was just like all these people that I don't know. I didn't know any of the people there. I saw Future Man and I talked to him for like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, um, and like Hafu was there, and there were like a, there were like a couple people that I knew, but it was so loud inside, and they had like a VIP area, but it wasn't really a VIP area at all, um, and it was just as loud as the like general admission area, and like the outside area, like out on the patio, was quieter, but everyone here smokes, everyone. And I absolutely, I hate smoking. It's terrible for you, it's terrible for the people around you. And like, within like five minutes, my throat started, like my throat hurts really bad right now because of just like, inhaling smoke is just like, ugh. So I feel like I smell disgusting now because I just like went to this party and everyone there is smoking. And um, I don't know, it was just kind of like this weird, this party where you like don't know anyone and it was kind of in this like trashy like club I guess like would not recommend going there um, if it was like anyone asked me for a place to go in Germany I would not recommend it because it seemed kind of uh, dark and scary <laughs> um, so I came back to my hotel room I'm just gonna hang out here for a little while I'm not super tired because I did fall asleep before going to the party so I'm, I'm probably just gonna like uh, work on some some video editing and have a relaxing night here at my hotel and then tomorrow is the last day of Gamescom. Man, my throat hurts. Um, tomorrow is the last day of Gamescom. So I just have a short three hour stream at the end of the day and then that's it. And then Monday I go, uh, go back to the airport and fly home. So um, we're kind of winding down here. So I'm in the uh, like nearly soundproof box in the back of the Blizzard stage. Um, I was trying to find a place to shoot my like video for my vlog and it was so loud everywhere that I asked them if I could use this little room. It's so dark and tiny, but it's like way quieter in here than anywhere else. So today's the last day. It does not at all feel like the last day of Gamescom. It's crazy like how fast it's been. I've been streaming for five days straight and it doesn't feel like that at all. Um, so I leave tomorrow morning, uh, but today, I, you know, I, I walked around, I went and saw the, um, the ESL booth, I watched a couple of the Envious versus Rogue matches, um, I went over to see, like, the, like, Fish Sticks and the, um, Zoe, like, the commentators were there, so I just kind of wanted to see what that all looked like when there was actually people in there. Uh, the whole thing looks awesome, it was smaller inside than I ex expected, but the whole setup was awesome looking, and so now I'm just kind of waiting, I've got about an hour before... Um, before my stream starts, so I probably am gonna head over there and get set up, and then I'm only streaming for three hours, and I guess, I don't know if we've, we probably have some like blizzard plans tonight because it's the last night, and most everyone is leaving in the morning. I leave at like 10 a.m., so uh, I'm ready to be home, but I'm also really sad because I'm gonna miss like being with everybody and hanging out. I had a really good time, so, um, but first we gotta go stream.
So that's like a really cool experience to be able to see these guys like playing live, you know, professional Overwatch, which I haven't seen before. So um, not in person anyway. But it's chaos because everyone's running around and trying to get everything, you know, torn down. It's just the last day. So um, I think we. I'm gonna go back to the hotel and then we're probably gonna get dinner tonight. Which I'm super looking forward to because I haven't had like a real dinner in a long time. So that's the plan. Hey guys, it is a rainy Monday morning here in Cologne. I am waiting for, well my shuttle's here, but we're waiting for the other people um, who are riding on the shuttle with me to the airport because we're on the same flight to, um, to LAX. So, um, I slept really well last night. I actually feel kind of a little better today. I still definitely am sick, but uh, I definitely feel like I've started getting a little bit more sleep and a little more rest, so I feel good. Um, excited to get to the airport, excited to get on the plane and uh, on the other side of it end up in LA. Um, I've had a really great time here and I'm looking forward to getting home but I'm also really gonna miss being in Germany so um, I guess uh, we'll just uh, take things one hour at a time here on uh, the last travel day. back home so it feels really good to be back uh, even though as you can probably tell by my voice I'm pretty sick I got a cold maybe the last two days of Gamescom but the flight back was really nice I flew back with um, a couple other people from Gamescom and we actually flew over Greenland which was probably the coolest thing I've ever seen like I, I really like looking out the windows on flights but Flying over Greenland was just probably one of the most awesome things I've ever seen because I've, I've never in my life seen Greenland even, you know, in person. So that was really awesome. Uh, and now I've just been doing things like, you know, getting back into the flow of uh, being home. And if I don't feel super jet lagged. I just I think I feel really tired because I'm sick. So I'm hoping that the recovery goes quickly because PAX is coming up really fast. So I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the vlogs and I'm going to do a quick recap because people were asking me a lot of kind of the same questions so I thought that I would put together a little bit of a recap and I, I think I'm just going to attach it to the end of the this vlog instead of making a whole separate video so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed I want to preface this by saying that I know that I didn't spend a ton of time in Germany and I really was only in one city so I don't want to make a ton of generalizations or anything um, but based on the experiences that I had it seemed like everyone was really polite and not super overly friendly which I kind of liked because I feel like in the U.S. we just like if you go into a store and there's just like a salesperson they immediately start talking to you and they're just like here's all the sales we got going on and here's this and here's that and you're just kind of like I just want to like I just want to look around and if you could just leave me alone that would be great so I felt like when I went to the stores in Germany people were just kind of like the salespeople just like looked at you and they're just like okay you're here and and they're there if you need them but they don't just like assault you with information um, and it seemed like even like the taxi drivers were really calm. Like I only had one bad taxi experience. Um, and it just felt like in general, like the traffic seemed really chaotic. Like people would just cut each other off all the time, but no one really cared. Like the taxi drivers wouldn't freak out if that happened. So, um, so I don't know. It just, it, I liked the general like sense of the people just seeing, seeming like everyone was like going about their own business and being polite, but not being like in each other's bases. There honestly wasn't really anything that I disliked about the city just being there, you know, for the week. If I had to pick something that was frustrating about the trip in general, it would just be that, um, you know, struggling to communicate with people because everyone obviously speaks German. And I did my best to learn a few phrases before I went over there, but I definitely had a few times where I was just like, I really wish that I were better at speaking German so that I could communicate with them better. Um, 
And I think if I were to go back, I probably would try and put more effort into like learning the language better. <laughs> Cause you know, there were only, there were most of the people, like there were a lot of people who did speak English, but there were also a lot of people that I met who didn't speak English or they just didn't feel comfortable, you know, speaking English, which is fine. You know, that's their, that's their country. <laughs> like I'm in Germany. So I just, I wish that I personally had done better at like learning how to communicate with them. Probably my favorite thing about the whole trip was getting to meet all these people who I probably wouldn't have had any opportunity to meet otherwise. Um, like there were the other people there to stream Overwatch were Muzelk and Stylosa, who are both mostly like YouTubers and, you know, they don't go to conventions that I go to because they're all in the U.S. So um, that was a cool opportunity, like getting to meet them and hang out with them. And they were both awesome. And then getting to meet all the Blizzard staff, like all the people who work on Overwatch. I got to have lunch with Scott Mercer and Aaron Keller, who both, you know, are people who spent a lot of time working on the game, of course. And it was nice being able to feel like they were hearing my opinions and then also get their opinions on things in the game. I also really enjoyed the couple days that I got to spend walking around the city. I had some late starting streams, like four or five o'clock in the afternoon so I would spend the morning walking around and going shopping and stuff and it was really cool to like actually feel like I was getting to explore a little bit and not just go straight to the convention and then straight back to the hotel. My least favorite parts were probably just the fact that I was so tired the whole time and got sick the past couple days so I felt like I missed out on some things that people were doing because I would just go back to the hotel and pass out and people would go out for dinner or whatever and I just, I couldn't physically make it happen because I was just so tired. Absolutely, in a heartbeat, I would definitely go back. I wish that I had had more time to hang out because all the exploring that I did manage to do felt very rushed, but in the end I was there for Blizzard and I wasn't there, you know, just to have fun, I was there to work. Probably the moment that I woke up from my nap and thought, hey, maybe I should go to the Twitch party. I really wish that I had not gone to that and just, you know, saved my energy and just not bothered going because I only stayed for maybe half an hour before I left. And probably also the last few minutes of the ESL Atlantic showdown because it was really cool to see Rogue's reaction in person when they won and they just like freaked out. It was really cool. Germany was, I guess, mostly what I expected. I don't feel like I had a ton of expectations, um, but I think mostly. I think I expected that more people would speak English, and not because I thought that they should, but just because there were so many people who told me before the trip that, uh, quote unquote, everyone there speaks English. So I kind of expected that more people would speak English, and I definitely met a lot of people who were not comfortable speaking English or just didn't want to. Um, it was also a lot hotter than I expected. The, uh, the weather forecast before I went, I, I looked it up and it said that it was going to be 75, which in Southern California is usually pretty nice, but it was super hot when I got there. And Gamescom was mostly what I expected as well. I think I expected it to be more packed because of the sheer number of people that attend, but because there's so many different halls and buildings that people can go to, it didn't really feel that busy it just felt like a convention it was just that there was more of it um that could also be because i was like secluded in the blizzard areas the whole time but even when i was walking around i didn't feel like i was you know packed into a can with sardines it was just like a really big convention that's it for the germany vlogs guys i really hope that you enjoyed all the content that came out of this trip i had a wonderful time i really want to thank blizzard and the overwatch team for inviting me to come out I it was my first time traveling internationally, as I've said, and it was my first time in Germany, and I just had a wonderful, wonderful time. I really wish that I hadn't gotten sick, but as you know, otherwise I just I had a, such a great time, and and they all made it really worthwhile. So I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Thanks for watching. See you next time.